Also this morning, we're hearing from Omar Mateen's father. In an interview with Kerry Sanders, he said he was shocked by his son's action. And Kerry joins us also from Fort Pierce. Kerry, good morning to you. Well, good morning. In a search for answers into Omar Martin, we spoke to his father, Sadiq Martin, and there may indeed lie some clues in what his father says and has done. By way of background, his father is politically active. He was recently in Washington, uh, where he met with members of the State Department as well as other political leaders while in Washington. The elder Martin, who made his trip in April, uh, is seen in social media posts, posting in front of the State Department. Department, as well as the Democratic Foreign Services Office. Now, he is from Afghanistan, and he has written openly on social media about his support for the Taliban, which, like ISIS, is an extremist Islamic group in Afghanistan. The gunman's father posted a video on Facebook apologizing for his son's actions in his native language of Dari. He called his son a good boy, well-educated, and living a dignified life, but also included this statement, the punishment for homosexuality is upon God, and he will decide on them, not humans. Doesn't Just hours earlier, he spoke at length with NBC done. News about what his son did. What triggered your son? This is, this is I, I am as shocked as you are. I don't approve this. In the United States, anyone has the freedom and uh, a choice to handle his life, what he likes, how to run his life. And nobody has the right to do anything or impose anything. So I don't approve of him, what he did. Did you know that he had purchased these weapons? No, I wish I did know. I wish I did know. If, if, if I did know that he purchased the weapon, this would not have happened. This is very hard to understand. You saw your son just hours before he went on this rampage. Exactly. You and said nothing. he was one person, and this person who did this murderous rampage was another person. Two o'clock, he became another person. Did he ever talk about homosexuality? Uh, except one time that we were in Miami, we saw the behavior of two, uh, one couple, and he got a little bit tick ticked off. What did he say? Nothing, just look at this. And uh, what did you see? Well, there were two guys who were kissing each other in front of the family and kids. My heart and my mind goes for all those people that they lost a loved one and uh, those families, those brothers that they, or sisters, they got injured. I, 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 I wish them a speedy recovery and I hope this never happens to our great land, United States of America. And uh, American people are loving people and they, I believe in forgiveness, and I... Uh, you believe I, that there's forgiveness here? For, for the, uh, I, I hope so, because what my son did is, is, is a horrible thing. Sadiq Martin says that he did not get confirmation that his son Omar was actually the gunman until the FBI visited his home. The FBI came in, did an interview with him and his wife, took his computer and left. Savannah? All right, Carrie Sanders, thank you.